Welcome back, let's try this again. Uh, playing a game. Yay. Just go into it. Just go into it. I don't think we really need anything. There we go. That's what I was waiting for before we started, but whatever. Oh man, that's... Bro, that's more than I thought it would be. Johanna, home of Dancing Right Sands. <laughs> this largely barren desert nation is infamous for its mercenary forces. <laughs> wow, that is a lot. Apparently it works. Yeah, that is a lot more than I would think. In accordance with her husband's dying wish, the beautifulest mare rules Johanna. Queen of the Right Doom governs Johanna with grace and honor. I thought Seth was the one saying all this. I don't fucking care. I'm burping, so... You know at the beginning it was an old dude, right? And then it became Seth? So at this point, who cares? <laughs> when he was young, her son left her on, his rare breaths remain unknown. After passing to Carpel and Erica arrives in Johanna. There, she finds the nation embroiled in combat with Grotto's forces. I wonder who her son could be. I don't fucking know. She has red hair. I don't fucking know. We don't have any characters with red hair, do we? No. Is it Irene? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it's it's not you, you and it's 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 Sasha. Hmm? 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 Was this this was was this me or this was this you? This oh. was you. Okay. Yes. My brother is dead. I can't be as a mess of all. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Oh shit, you're gonna have me doing it too, you fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I just did whatever fucking came to mind, yo. There's no- there, there's no mistake. Look for yourself. I brought his corpse with me. That's him right over there, isn't it? No! Brother! Not a pretty sight, eh? You'll be hard-pressed to ready that for a proper burial. But listen, Cormac, there's no reason for you to grieve. After all, who better than you to replace your brother in his majesty's service? Picture it, General Cormag. The new and improved Sunstone, eh? Who did this? Who is responsible? Who? Me! <laughs> who? Oh, oh, Lynn's last orders were to find and subdue Erica. Tis a pity I was delayed, or I arrived to witness the final blow myself, you know, with my own hand. I watched Erica run her blade right through his chest and then flee. That's so wrong, I would, I would, I would go right through Erica. the throat. Where is she now? Hmm? What would you do if I told you, without orders from his majesty? Answer me! In the eastern mountains of Carcino. The forests are thick in that region. It won't be easy finding her, but... Woo! Gone already? I said to gift your way, Erica, but I trust you can handle it. You're my girl, after all. I need you to be strong for me. <laughs> Mister, Mister, I have a message. I've been waiting for Celia. Go on. What is it? <clears throat> what news do you bring? Pretend you're loving well. When the reinforcements rode into Carcino, you were nowhere to be seen. We thought perhaps new enemy forces had, you, had reached you, and it's good to see you well, my lord. I'm sorry I've troubled you. Remember that duty I bear as a harsh master. 
It will not let me die easily. Of course, for times. Yes, what word do you bring us, Relia? Well, speak! Yes, your highness. I've been speaking this entire time, though. Relia has invaded Carcino and engaged the traitor Pablo's mercenary army. With aid from Elder Klimt, we are crushing the foe where we find them and killing innocents. Pablo's faction is retreating ever southward toward Jihana. Towards Jihana? He must be planning to join with the crowd of forces there. Pardon me, but I must know. Do you have word of my brother? Yes! Prince Ephraim has forced the surrender of Grado's fortress at Rayquald. He's now marching on toward the Imperial capital. Toward the capital? Yep, fool. Emperor Vargard himself and his Imperial Guard in the capital. It's too strong a force, even for Ephraim. No, I believe in my brother. I know he fights still. This bracelet tells me so. Whoop. Hi, Haraka. Is it time to go already? Where is all? We're going to break through Grotto with gr the Grotto lines and join the army of Johanna. You should keep to the rear where it's safe. No, I will stay with you. Confronting evil boldly is the sworn to the finale of justice. And it may be that Grotto's goal is the stone of Johanna. I cannot stand by and let it be assured. Um, Larry, you do know you only have a staff, right? <laughs> where did you come by such information? Hmm? That, uh, well, the wind whispered to me in the night. The wind whispered to you? Yes, that's right. The court, the gentle breeze. There are knights riding this way from Worcester, as, even as we speak. If we can hold out until we arrive, the power will surely be ours. Come, America, let us be on our way. You spy! <laughs> Wait a moment. Larishel, who are you? Good lord, that's a lot of enemies. <laughs> this was also you. Right? Really? Right? Right? Yes, yes, yeah. this was the yeah. evil douchebag who was with the, 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 the girl. Where do we are having any time now? Are you ready, Ayas? Hmm, everything's in place. My princess Erica supposedly defeated General Lynn. I wonder if it's true that she's a force foe to be reckoned with. And I know without. Still, there's no reason to worry. I can best her. I know it. You'll take her, I have no fear. We fight as mercenaries together, and I know what you're capable of. You could sit the guts in the oven and not find a man to match your skills. I'm honored to hear you say that. But I have no interest in the titles and trappings of Grubbs. Imperial Army. Don't say that. You're glad you came with me, right? Right? You know, you're no. both sick to death of living like desert rats. I'm going to be a king one day. This war is just the beginning. Ah, it starts again. Or it has the Knights of Wooston running from the north. They're mine. You can trust this mess to your capable hands, can't I, Ice? You remember what they called me when we were mercenaries, don't you? A fat ass? Of course. I was never once wounded on the field of battle. Not once. Even though you're such a fat ass. Yeah. It's because I was a fat ass. Huh. My skill's not garish and loud like yours, but I've never known the feat. Yes, that is true. I'm depending on you, Iris. Hmm. I hate how he calls me a fat ass. Fat ass. All you re prepare for battle. It's just because of the armor I wear. <laughs> Delicious. God damn it. <laughs> Berserk, the arm is ready no for us. Before the Balbus mercenary arm is closing in from the rear. Why would they be coming in from the rear? We'll never know. We must be cautious nonetheless. All we have to do is hold them off until the Knights of Wooston arrive. If you can do that, victory is as good as ours. Let's get started, shall we, Erica? Indeed. Fucking bitch. Let's go slaughter some bitches! Fucking bitch. Hey, Sally, get the fuck out of here. Um. Probably bring, bring comeback. You don't need these other people. 
Actually, you don't need Colm either. Maybe... You don't... Who the fuck is good, though? Uh, I, was thinking, I was thinking maybe just bring Ainz or Joshua in. Let's see how our items are. Supply, give. Uh, that's good enough. Uh, uh, you fucking need shit. Uh. Natasha can get rid of the fire she has. Where do we buy more heals? Uh, you can buy it in the armory. Oh. Are you good? Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Right? Yeah, yeah I'd give him. Yeah, he's fine. We probably won't be using him much. Boom, so you give him back and just, yeah, call it a day. Um, loot, you need to give her some stuff. Because she can use more magics now. I... I'm still confused on the button layout. It's all good. Take your time. Oh. Thunder! Mm. Uh, give her a staff if you have a heal staff and... No? Okay, uh... Actually, just give her a torch staff. Give her a torch? <laughs> no, not right now. Uh, I was... <laughs> I was joking about that. Um... Uh, go to armory... And buy a lightning... And a heal. Jesus, they're expensive in this. What is the Tosh at with her heal? Oh, that's good enough. That's also good enough. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're good. Okay. This is a five mission. You know what that means. Oh, fucking bullshit. We are now back, uh, it froze, um, our, uh, item just set, everything's good, let's start. So, um, they have a lot of archers. They do. And, uh, you just kind of want a turtle. And maybe have an archer go up to that uh, ballista and take things out. But for the most part, just turtle. And turtle hard. And then when you've spread out, or when you've killed most of their forces, it's going and Oh, there's Lou. I was like so confused. I couldn't see Lou because her sprite changed. Oh yeah, the sprites change when you promote them. You're not really good at turtling. Huh? <laughs> Said you're not really good at turtling. Uh, I'm putting them on grass, dude. Hey, where the- oh, it's just- there, okay, whatever. Oh, son of a bitch. And take out the ballistas first. Can I uh, not hurt the one down there? Okay, apparently not. Uh, yeah, you would have to move first, but. I'll take that. Yeah, there's one ballista. Next turn, you can move the ballista and then. Yeah. 
you know, uh, you can stay where you are, and, um, loot can heal her. That is true. Because she has a staff now. I forgot about that immediately. It's all good. And you also, while you're, uh, it's only 10 turns, not why. Yeah, I'd start slaying enemies now. You took out one of the ballistas, and that's the issue. Go, Seth! Tank all of the hits! Fucking loser. Steal all the XP! Go, Erica! Join them! <laughs> Oh, damn it! You couldn't get on it. I was I was hoping so much you'd be able to get on top of that. Don't. I would keep. Oh wait, never mind. I would say I'd keep yeah, her on the floor. Yeah, she's in a good spot. Oh, what fucking? Just go up here then. Yeah. Fucking loser. <laughs> well, you're dead. You're more than all. Oh, oh that was a rapier. I forgot I was using the rapier. I forgot to unequip it last time. And it's all good. Yeah, I got a critic. Fucking loser. <laughs> you missed two. Oh, yeah, boy, let's do this. So, uh, I wanted to talk about the podcast Jerry had. So, what happened was Jerry was. Oh, I want to make a podcast. And the thing is, no one likes watching Jerry's stuff. And that's to be expected as he's created a Jerigulu education channel where he hardly uploads anything. And he has Doesn't another he channel. Doesn't he only have one video? Huh? Doesn't he only have one video on that? I think he has a total of three. The intro, an actual tutorial, and then some bullshit. That I don't even think is education related. But yeah, pretty much. Aw oh, shit, son of a bitch. What, you think that's actually gonna hurt her? <laughs> no, I forgot that they existed. Oh. But, uh, yeah, like, so Jerry, uh, you know, just doesn't have stuff people want to watch, because he's not entertaining, really. He's not. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Continue oh, sorry. Playing. I was trying. I was. I. It's hard to. I now realize why it's so hard to play a game and talk. Cause most of the time, we're either talking and not playing, or doing voice acting. So it's kind of hard to really do it at the same time. So what happened? Man, was... Archer sucks. <laughs> he doesn't have 20, uh, 20 magic right now. He sucks. Oh, he has four hit. But yeah. So Jerry uh, invited me. I don't know why to be a part of this uh, podcast. My immediate response was, "What's the?" I wanted to know what the topic was. I just wanted to know if we're going to actually talk about something or if he was just going to be stupid. And it was stupid. He said, our topic is My Hero Academia. And I'm like, cool. And he said, that's it. Nothing else. For those who don't know, when you have a podcast, you have like a list of topics you want to talk about. Not Jerry. He's like, we have one topic and that's it. <laughs> what? What is that? Why would you do that? Louis, Lu Lu send Garrick and Marissa out to go kill people. Oh, true. Okay, continue on. But yeah, no, that's that's stupid. The only one thing he didn't even like have different. No, he didn't even he didn't even like 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 objectify them. All he did was tell me and uh. I, he, he wanted to invite other people as well. Uh, all of them didn't show up. Surprise, surprise. So I had the brilliant idea of, yo, oh no. Oh, they missed. Okay. I had the brilliant idea. What if I ask Paul, who also read the manga, if he wanted to join in? He said yes, which I was like, oh, this is going to be great. Because Paul's a complete shitter. He likes ruining things more than I like ruining things. Uh, yeah, Paul's a... Ugh. Paul's a piece of he, shit. He He's, he's like, a troll. Yeah, he's Paul a is troll a troll. Is the best way to describe him. He's funny and hilarious when he's trolling someone else, but when he's trolling you, you want to fucking kill him. But like, here's the thing. I was like, oh, this can be so hilarious because we're gonna shit on Jerry the entire time. And so I'm like, I'll invite uh, Paul because he read the manga from My Hero Academia. 
because we were going to talk about it, so we needed someone who knew stuff, so I got Paul. Funny thing is, uh, I was like, so this was like a literally mass last minute thing, like five minutes before we asked Paul to show up was when we decided to have him on the show. Like, because everyone else didn't show up, and I didn't want it to be just me and, you know, because that wasn't going to be entertaining, because me and Jerry, that's not going to be entertaining. I didn't even know Seth had a javelin. Uh, but so, I was like, okay, this could be bad. It's going to be really bad. And then I realized I can do something to ruin this. I can ruin his podcast. No one's going to watch it, so I can do whatever I feel like and whatever I want. So I'm like, this is a brilliant idea. And so I'm like, how do I ruin Jerry's podcast of My Hero Academia? And then I don't know what made me think of it this way, but I'm like, what if I just talk about hentai porn? I'm like, that's brilliant! So, yeah, I decided to talk about porn on Jerry's, uh... <laughs> on Jerry's podcast. This was the first episode, too. And I was thinking, I can't just simply walk into his podcast and start immediately talking about it, right? Because if I were to do that, he could just end the episode early. And so I had an even better idea. What if I just... Start talking about hentai and porn, pretty much. My Hero Academia specifically, like the hentai revolved around that. Like a good 10 minutes into the video. Like, because then at that point, he can't really do that. He can't really say, oh, we're not doing this episode. Because we already spent 10 minutes talking. And I'm like, this will make it so he won't want to redo those first 10 minutes. So like the first 10 minutes of like the thing, or like, is a normal podcast. Where we just talk about My Hero Academia. And... It's not entertaining whatsoever because there's no, like, actual list or ideas or anything relating to it. It's just us talking about what we think of the show and anything. And who our favorite characters were and whatever. But, like, ten minutes in, I'm like, okay, by the way, guys, I wanted to do some research uh, on this podcast. You know, to be professional. So I did some research about the hentai revolving My Hero Academia. Uh huh. <laughs> and that was you don't it. Say Mr. Robot. Oh, really? I'm a robot. Thanks, uh, thanks, Skype. But dude, that was so fucking worth it. Cause, cause, uh, I was like, I'm gonna ruin this show. That was my whole goal was to try and ruin it, or at least make it entertaining if people actually are gonna watch it, which no one did, by the way. Yeah, I watched two minutes. Yeah, I don't blame you. If you're gonna watch it, skip like ten minutes in where I start talking about hentai. But all I did was the day before I googled up, I, I looked up hentai and uh, of My Hero Academia. And uh, then I went to the first link I saw and I'm like, this is good enough. Which one was it? I, I don't even fucking, I don't know. I just, I just clicked, I think I, I was one of the random ones. I can't remember. I'm so fucking upset that I can't remember. But what I do remember is the that I ended up finding more hentai related about Yaoi than of, you know, normal hentai. I don't think Yeah, that's I, about right. It was all about oh. Katsuki and uh uh Katsuki Gabakugo and uh Midoriya Izuku, like the two main characters. It was all about them. And uh that was it. One second, let me, let me talk about, since we're on the topic of hentai right now, let me talk about hentai right now, and my annoyance with hentai at the moment. Everything that's coming out is just fucking yaoi. Oh, is it really? Yes, it's so annoying, it's like, I just, I just, can you just give me a good gang rape scene, or, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So, so uh, I'll take some girl over this shit. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's I'll what I wanted to do. Was just ruin his. Like I'm so tired. I'll take some Fudinaris over this freaking trap shit. Okay. Oh, fucking traps are the worst. That, and it's worse when you you're, you you judge a. You judge a doujinshi by its cover, and you see what appears to be an extremely cute loli, and it happens Okay, to this is where we stop. Why- <laughs> No, lolis are bad! You have shit taste! And it happens to actually be a trap, and you're just like, well, I'm done with this shit. Well, I mean, I'm already here. Might as well continue. Might as well finish, am I right, boys? 
No, I, I can't. <laughs> I, I'll scroll through the thumbnail pictures and see if it's any good or not, but no. Oh my god. I mean, I've seen a, go a couple good yaoi's. They exist. They're just rare. Oh, do a critical hit. But yeah, uh, that my whole goal was just to ruin Jerry's, uh, Jerry's podcast. Or at least make it entertaining enough for me to be the reason why people watched it. Fucking loser. Uh, was it worth it? Absolutely, 100%. Uh, and I, I, and I apologize, uh, in the video description on the comments. And the apology was a sarcastic apology. I was apologizing for the fact that it didn't do enough research about the hentai. So I, I was like, I'm just gonna fuck around and have fun or whatever. And didn't I give you a comment about it? Yeah, you did. Oh, by the way. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, avenge me, brother! You, uh, you wanna talk to him with Erica. Oh, this is bad. She's nowhere near that. Save state and see if you can get her over there. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know he was coming in from there because I'm not used to this map. Um I think you could also talk to him with uh Tana. But that might have only been on Ephraim's route. But don't get in his range, because that that'd be bad. Oh, good. Thank God. <laughs> I was like, am I in his range? No. But yeah, that, that the entire thing of that, like, it's just a shit on Jerry. Uh, nice. Funny thing was, Jerry was going to have a second podcast uh, last week. Uh, he chose not to because he was busy with something. I don't fucking know. Um, was what... it because he was busy with something, or was he so embarrassed with what you did? Oh, he wasn't embarrassed with what I did. He kind of knew I was going to do something stupid like that, so he dealt with it. He, he was actually <laughs> busy and had something to do. Oh. Uh, what was his response to you bringing up the hentai? I don't remember. I was just laughing. Paul's response was that he went to go look up hentai himself. So I told him, I didn't find any hentai about my favorite girl at all, because all I found Who's was Yari. Favorite? Uh, fucking son of a bitch, really, Gilliam? Who's your favorite girl? Uh, Yao Yozuo Momo, the girl with the creation quirk. With the what? Oh, the creation- Dude, she has like- She's Three stacked. or four of those entities. I, I yeah, I couldn't find any, because all I found was Yari. That's not surprising. I give, you some, I give you some links if you want. <laughs> oh, it's okay, I found some myself already. Because Paul, <laughs> he said, really, I would think there would be. And I'm like, I didn't find any. And, uh, uh, this is, this oh, is not good. Okay, Luis, I'm, I'm gonna hook you up, okay? okay no, I'll you give don't you have to! I already said I found some! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I just use a vulnerary, whatever. But anyways, uh, so straight up, I just, uh, should probably head over here then to kill these guys. I straight up was like, I'm just gonna fucking... Like, and I'm like, oh, thanks, Paul. Because Paul, like, is like, really? I would think there would be some. And so he looks up some himself. Jerry wanted yeah, us to get back on topic. And I'm like, yo, we are getting back on topic. We're talking about the head uh, related to this. Oh, you still haven't finished this turn. Never mind. I was about to ask, where the fuck did Cormac go? He didn't move it. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the uh, that was the whole joke was, uh, was that. Funny joke. It was funny in my opinion. No, no, seriously, funny joke. Uh, but here's the thing, like I said before, oh no, oh, oh no, it's okay. Was that Jerry wanted to have a second, uh, a second podcast. And you wonder what the topic for that podcast was gonna be? My Hero Academia? Yes! He didn't choose, he wanted the second podcast to be the exact same topic discussion. I'm like, literally after 10 minutes, we ran out of nothing to talk about, which is why I started talking about hentai. And Jerry, then he wanted. He was also going to try to get the people he wanted to um, show up first to actually show up this time, but he decided not to because he was busy with work or something. Because he has summer classes, I think. So, anyways. Oh, that's cheating! Uh, you can't just bring more enemies in. <laughs> Oh, 
You might get over one. Uh, yeah. He's, uh, kind of far away from everyone. Garrick, at least. Uh, but, so, uh, I was upset that Jerry didn't do that, because here's the thing. He said I couldn't talk about hentai. And so I'm like, what can- oh, no. Oh, no, this is a soldier. Fucking who cares? So, I was like, what can I talk about instead of hentai? And I'm like, oh my god, the funniest thing ever. You know how everyone loves their Sonic OCs? Okay, L Louise. What? Before you start talking and not pay attention, try to talk to Kormog with Tana so you don't fuck things up. Nope. I know you. Can't. No. So it has to be Erica, which means you're fucked. No, it's okay. No, it's not, because you don't get the turn. No, it's okay. No, it's not. You fucked it up. I'm okay. It's okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's not, that's not gonna work. It's okay. It's, it's sure, if you say so. No. So... Anyways, uh...